from WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana. This is Louisiana's News Leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness Morning News. Well, after a dry spell earlier this summer, we're finally getting those summertime afternoon showers and storms definitely yesterday. Besides cooling us off and giving us our cars a quick wash, the rain can be used to take care of our gardens and flower beds as well. All you have to do is make a water catch basin, and on this month's Fix It Friday, Laura Bucktail shows us how. A great way to conserve water is to use a water catchment system. Now, you can purchase these for quite a bit of money, but Chris McDowell from the Preservation Resource Center says you can make one with a lot less expense. First, you need a container. A plastic bin would be good, a storage bin, something like that. Uh, something that's going to be uh, tight to seal. So uh, this, this is ideal, obviously, because it already holds water. Along with the plastic jug, you'll need an on-off valve, plumber's tape and putty, and some wire netting. The netting is maybe the most important part. As a screen, you definitely need in Louisiana just because of mosquito infestation. So you want to be able to screen off. Uh, the water that you're catching um, so mosquitoes don't breed in, inside of there. Start by drilling a three-quarter inch hole in the bottom of the water jug using a three-quarter inch drill bit. This is where you'll place the shutoff valve. If the hole is a little tight, you can use a file or a utility blade to scrape off a little more. The hole's a little too tight, so what we can do is just um, kind of take the, the screw gun and just kind of bore a little bit wider hole. You might have to play around with it a little bit. Once the hole is the right size for the nut, it's time to take off the top of the water jug. A simple hacksaw works well for this. What we want to do is mark a line uh, basically along this uh, kind of seam right here. Okay. So, and that's where we're going to cut with a hacksaw. So if you can, just freehand, um, just mark this line. Oh, you see where the little... I my freehand. Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah, you're just going to kind of approximate it. It takes some elbow grease, but you should be able to saw through the top of the container. Now we're ready to install the on-off valve. You'll need the valve, the nut that comes with it, and some plumber's tape and putty. Before you put this nut through the hole, you want to take this plumber's tape right here. This is just standard plumber's tape. And uh, the stuff's, it's kind of got a little adhesive on it. So okay. what you basically do is just take the plumber's tape on the thread and you can start at the end or you can start on the inside and you just wrap it. This just seals it up more further so when you actually are twisting this inside here, um, the plumber's tape gives it a little bit extra um, seal inside here. And Grab the plumber's putty and smear a good amount on the underside of the valve. This will help make the seal tight on the jug. So now we can just screw this on. And uh, we're just going to kind of light, lightly screw it, and then we'll, we'll take the, uh, the wrench and actually put it on. After the valve is attached and tightened, we need to secure the screen netting on top. Some twine or rubber string will work, and this part may require a helping hand. Yeah, just take it around, and then we'll, I'll help you kind of tighten it up. I'll hold it for you. We struggled a bit with the screen, but eventually got it on. Now that our catchment is finished, we're going to make a housing unit for it. All you need is some wood and either screws or nails. We started making each side and then connected the sides to make a square. Just to do it right, use a speed square, and speed square will line you up. So we're pretty square right here. Fit the water jug into the box and attach a standard garden hose to the water valve. Now you're able to collect that rainwater for your lawn or garden. And we finished not a moment too soon. Dark clouds have been threatening our project all morning, but we were able to get our catchment hung just as the first raindrops came down. Now, I have no <laughs> idea what I just saw. What were you building? What does it do? A water catchment I... to catch the rainwater. And then you can use it to water your your lawn. Now, what is it on the hose? Well, like, no because hose. Because some of us like to conserve water and, oh, and lower the, the bills. Yeah. Yes. But I'm okay. wondering mm -hmm. how much water will you actually be able to to get? Well, it depends. If you happen to be over, like yesterday, I mean, we had two inches in a very short amount of time, so that could be enough to water one or two, you know, plants in your yard, that sort of thing. So it just kind of depends. You do want to make sure you have that net on top of it, and it depends on how big the thing. They have several of those over at the Preservation Resource Center of these huge tubs that they collect the water in, and they have enough to take care of, of what they need to water-wise. They use no water over so there. So essentially, you're, you're filtering rainwater to then to You're not use... really filtering it. The, the netting is to keep mosquitoes out from 
okay. you know, laying eggs mm -hmm. and all that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to have that Good mosquito point. growth. But it will definitely keep the leaves out and that sort of thing. It's just rainwater. You know, if you want to save it in that way, if it rains one day and not the next, you can use some of that water from the earlier day and, and water your, your yard the next day. See that well, Nessie now? Now, it I, now I get a sense. sense. Yes. Or you can just keep one of those little kiddie pools in your yard, and when it rains, it just flip it out. <laughs> but then, what are you going to sunbathe in in the afternoon? <laughs> I know you like to splash back, enjoy that, enjoy that well, kiddie pool. What I do on my weekends, my business. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Laura. That was good. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. There you go. There we go. Learn some know. every day. Let me know when y'all make one. Will do. <laughs>